Serving ultrasound of a female, show you this is the uterus and uh, the uterus, my ears. One eleven point nine centimeter in length and uh, five point seven centimeter in anterior posterior diameter. This is the enlarged size. Sorry, this is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section. This is the urinary bladder, and uh, this is the uterus. This is the anterior myometrium, fundal region, posterior myometrium. This is the cervical region, and this is the uterus in longitudinal section. Uh, uh, why the uterus is an eye will be. Uh, uh, I will explain to you later, but. Uh, Dimension is uh, enlarged because in length it should not exceed 11 and 11 centimeter and in anterior posterior diameter it should not exceed more than 5 centimeter. Here we are seeing 5.7 centimeter and the reason is uh, hypopoic mixed echo solid, well demarcated focal mass laying at the uterine fundal region measuring approximately 4.3 into 3.8 centimeters. Now this is the fibroid. See that the anterior myometrium at the upper end, upper part is uh, <coughs> superior part is thinned out and the fundus of the uterus, the myometrium in this region can be seen as it can be seen at the region of the uh, posterior myometrium up to here and the myometrium is thinned out because of the pressure from this uh, fibroid. This is a fibroid. So uh, the myometrium is rather thinned out in this region. Meyers in the anterior region approximately uh, 4.7 at the fundal region, 4.5. So, this is the urinary bladder. Otherwise, there is no satellite lesion seen in the anterior myometrium, uh, posterior myometrium, this is the cervix. It's clear of any other satellite lesion. So, myometrium, at the region of the fibroid is thinned out. This is the that region, and this is the fibroid. So this is a study of a case of a fibroid at the uterine fundal region with uh, a thinning of the Here you will see that there is thinning of the myometrium due to the fibroid. Okay, in trans, this is the transfer section. And in transfer section, you can also know that uh, there is thinning of the myometrium and the fundal region. Now I'm showing you the fundal region in transfer section. Fibroids you can make up. This is the longitudinal region where there is impression of one another. Here we are. There is another fibroid which is uh, relating to the lowermost uh, part of the uh, of the uterus, lower posterior myometrium, and uh, this is another fibroid. It's hypopoic, it's solid, it's well demarcated. You can see the outer line, posterior margin, hypopoic, and uh, <coughs> it has mass effect on the endometrial canal. This is the endometrial canal in this uh, particular phase of menstrual cycle, which we are in which we are studying the patient. This is the cervix urinary bladder, anterior myometrium, posterior myometrium, and you see why it is solid, 
because we do not see any posterior wall acoustic enhancement. There is no calcification seen within it. So this is another fibroid related to the posterior uh, wall, lower segment of the uh, posterior wall of the uterus with mass effect on the and this is the longitudinal section and it, it gives mass effect on the central clear endometrial canal up to the region of uh, <coughs> now the endometrial canal is traceable up to the region of uh, the fibroid that is at fundal region I try to get both together. Anyway, let us first see the uh, situation of the endometrial canal. You see, both are almost giving some mass effect on the endometrial canal. This is the canal. This is the endometrial canal. Now, this is uh, fibroid number one, that is in the posterior wall of the uterus and this is the other one with at the fundal region. So this is our just this is the fundal region fibroid with the co well demarcated, no posterior wall acoustic enhancement, thinning of the myometrium uh, at the region of the fibroid, where well, the other one is hypopoic and uh, is uh, at the lower segment of the posterior myometrium. This is the endometrial canal. As gives them, it does give pressure effect on the endometrial canal. Uh, so this is our case of today. Thank you very much.